Welcome to another episode of Rocker Family Homestead. Today we're planting seeds, showing you how you can save some money and you don't have to buy your plants from a big box store like Lowe's, Home Depot, or a nursery. Stay tuned. <laughs> So what we have here is a seed starter stray that I got from a, a hydroponic store. You can get these on Amazon or if you have a, uh, a place that does hydroponic and stuff like that, sell us garden supplies, you can um, get one of these right here. And what it has is it has 50 slots, 10 by five deep. And what we're using is these uh, Root Riot natural plant starter cubes for cuttings and seeds, ideal for soil or hydroponics. And you can see on the bag um, what the roots does. You put the seed in there and then you pretty much put the dome over it, let it get humidity, cover it up. And I'm gonna show you what we do. This is just a, uh, we got some, this is the secret sauce right here. This <laughs> is that barefoot Moscato, this deliciously sweet uh, plant starter. No, it's not. <laughs> and it, it's nothing but uh, just some water. I use the bottle so I can water this. But I'll show you what we're gonna do to track what we're growing. So, move this out the way so you get it. So, I know I got ten. What's the day? Damn, let me see the day there. Today it is all right. March twenty fourth. And put Sunday, March. 24. Chicken scratch. Public school says don't mind. So <laughs> I'm going to draw, I'm going to pretty much draw this tray out and uh, just draw it out like this. Don't have to be anything pretty. All right. So we got 10. So let me split this in the middle. Let me see. That's, uh, I need to get five on each side. So bam, bam. Just like that. Bam. Okay, you don't even need a rule. Bam. You know, you you got it, you got it. All right. <laughs> need to get five on this side. Mm, a little crooked. All right, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. All right, so now we need to do, uh, need to get five deep on here. You want to do it with the marker? That's fine. Get five deep. That was this. That one of them old Dollar Tree pins. <laughs> mm hmm. Good marker. It ain't hitting on nothing. It's got to be five deep. Just like that. And then what we do is we label them. So this is one, two, three four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's pretty much the whole tray layout. And uh, we're gonna do some, we need to do some more beefsteak tomatoes because I put those out and they died. So that's not good. <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll probably do some more green beans because those was real good. Uh, cherry tomatoes, and this is just a little thing, a little Tupperware my wife had, and we can use for um, using our seeds, keeping them in there. All right, we got green tomatoes, yellow tomatoes, beef steak. So we'll do a series of tomatoes. Um, let's see, pea pods. Wanna do those or no? Yeah, we can do some pea pods, cause you can your um. You can grow a lot of these year round. They don't take that much. And then you can uh, just freeze them. So let's see. Our right. onions didn't take on the last one. Onions didn't take, cause I think, uh, I don't think you can mix them like you said. Okay. So I'm gonna take some of these right here. And green beans don't take long at all. So we'll do one. And you can reuse these trays, this plastic tray over and over again. 
Doing them like that right there. And then, uh, I made that S4. Do. Grow a lot of bean, green beans. Hopefully, we can, this year, we can grow enough green beans where we don't have to buy them from the store. Tomatoes, put those way on the side over there. And it'll take them about. Mm, 10 days to get right about 10 days and uh so i'll show you what i do to pretty much get the little if you look in there zoom in there they got like little holes pre already in there but i like to stick something in there and and uh mess up my pen yeah mess up the pen they pen a dud anyway <laughs> they pen busted anyway no, yeah i like to stick it in there and uh go ahead and get it And I'm gonna just drop the seeds in there. Last year we grew a whole, well last year uh, we got most of our plants from like Lowe's and in the winter time we lost them. So Yeah, so this way is a little bit uh, to be able to keep them to be able to keep the cost down. So let's do the green bean. See these green bean seeds? There's no green bean right there. Mm! All right. Mm -hmm. I'll come back and push those in there. Just put one in there for each one. Ain't too hard. And uh, the more you harvest these green beans, the more that the uh, the plant will just keep on producing. All right, so I'll show you what we're going to do. Get one more of them bad boys out of there. Just like that. Close them green beans back up in there. All right, let's move the chart. I ain't in Mason here. All right, so I got them in rows two and three. Green beans. Green beans. Hey, you write your B like a six all the time? Green beans. <laughs> Green beans. Yeah, you tasted it. I switched it up <laughs> on you. Green beans. All right. Green it's never a dull moment. <laughs> Green bean. <laughs> Green. Thousand, thousand likes for my, my wife. <laughs> that better? Let me see. Green. I'm just trying to figure out why your B is a six. Now you change it up. Mm, your hand right now. Bam. All right. Let me get the scissors real quick. Hold on. Now we're gonna do like some uh these little beans right here, you can grow these and you put them in like a little stir fry, something like that. Cut them open. Get five of them bad boys right now. Ooh. So that's five. Take them bad boys right there. All right. Got those. What's up, man? What's up? You good? Mm -hmm. All right, so I fold them bad boys up right there. What's that? So we got to grow up. They the kids already coming home. Home. We got to <laughs> got to grow up, grow some more. All right, we'll do the um, do some of these tomatoes. I'm not gonna do too many of these because if you. All right. Ooh, so go over here. Oh yeah, I did do that. Project, science project. That's good. Hold on, baby. We don't need to do this. 
What's up, Mace? What's up? Uh, oh, see that? Put that. Put that right there. And then uh, these will stay moist. They come uh, pre-moistened. You just keep them in a dark area. So I got those right there. And I'm going to do three green tomatoes. And that'll be green tomatoes right there. And if you don't, if you don't have any seeds that is green tomatoes, you can pretty much pull a red tomato before it is ripe or red and it'll be green. Mm, hold on. So when they that little, you wanna drop a couple of them in there. Cause you don't know what it's gonna take. We're gonna put about two in there, two to three in there. I might even put three in there. You put one in there, it's a chance that it couldn't take. Okay, got that. All right, next is. What row is that? That's uh, green beans, the snap peas on one. Mm, you looking at that right, huh? Snap pea. Snap pea. He's still hungry. Snap pea. And this row was five, and that was uh, green. Hold on now. Tomato. Green. Tomato. Green. Tomato. All right, next we're going with the yellow um, tomato. Yeah, I guess these are like hybrid tomatoes. I'm going to run these. I'm going to show you what you do with it. Mm hmm. And we just look, when we get the seeds, look for like non-GMO on there, organic. You have to watch out because they are playing with the seeds now. Little seed, hold on, hold on. You see that? Yeah. Yep, real little. It's yellow tomatoes. All right, so we got those. That's yellow tomato. And this little chart helps keep it organized. And then I'll put it on our Google Calendar. So we got yellow tomatoes. Because right now it is March 24th. And we should be getting like the last freeze. We should already be past that point. So it's a great time to start them. Yellow tomatoes. All right, and the last one, beef steak. Ooh, that's them big ones right there. That's them big kahunas right there. <laughs> Let's see. Not big kahunas. What's he gonna hurt? All right, so we got the beef steak tomatoes right there. I think these seeds are small too. All right, yep, they're pretty small. But I'm putting about two or three in there. I normally, when I do that, they they take. All right, so what I'm about to do now, I'm gonna put uh, LRG tomato, LRG. For, what's the LRG stuff for? Large. Oh. LRG. Oh, the beef steaks. Mm-hmm, big one. Like hamburgers, slicing tomatoes. All right, so that's that right there. Now, push them down in there good. Tried, <laughs> Took it with you. Tried to get up out of there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, put them down in there good. Got all of them in there. And then all you do is come back with it. Push them down, put them bad boy in there like that. Hit it with a little bit of this uh, barefoot Moscato deliciously sweet. <laughs> put a little water. Bit of, yeah, a little bit of water in there. Soak them down real good. Don't mind, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of water in the bottom of the tray. That'll help keep the humidity in there. Mm-hmm. Soak them down real good. And I'll probably won't come back for about another seven days. Yep, about another seven days. Check it. And you can take take the top just like this. Put in there, close the vents a little bit. See these little vents? You don't want that much air in there. You want uh humidity. And let me show you what we do with it. Hold on. You got that good? You need to open it, <laughs> open it up. I'll show you we got one back over here. Uh, I sit that one down. I'll show you we got one cooking. Check this out right here. We did this back in three March, and that's some of the stuff. If it's a flash, it took, and then this is the stuff that we got left in there growing. So real simple. Real simple. So what I'm about to do now is I'll leave that there. Take this one. Put it, on top. put it right on top put the paper in there so i know put the blanket over it and then it'll pretty much do its thing and there you have it right there so thank you for tuning in we got a uh, got the infamous sugar mama on the camera <laughs> need a thousand likes minimum mama wanna mama wanna be able to build some more stuff so your likes help contribute to the channel and before we let you go oftentimes you hear people say, sow a seed. They talk about that money. This is the real sowing seeds. <laughs> Ow.